hello hello i was out of the country for the first two months of the year and when i got back you know seeing people for the first time getting back into my own routine the topic of resolutions your goals for the year came up if you know me then you know that i am truly obsessed with becoming the best version of myself you know what that is it's growth you're a big girl we move is the theme constant progression right and i know that if i want to get to that point i gotta be consistent they say if you're persistent you'll get it if you're consistent you'll keep it la russell says are you tending to your garden do you grow yourself which is so real like are you focusing on you have you pulled out your weeds from the roof are you watering yourself like do you take a second to look at the sun and absorb the nutrients that you need to grow metaphorically but still so every year i would commit to something and it will honestly dwindle by march and i don't know why i never thought to create quarterly goals because we do this at school we do this at work um but outside of those goals i could never find a planner that would work for me but this planner this planner run run don't walk run 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 don't walk i feel like i have the cheat code i have seen so much progress and i didn't want to record and upload this video because i wanted to do my due diligence and at least commit to like three months before i say that it's been working for me but i've seen so much improvement in just one month that i had to share if you're in my life i probably most likely brought this planner up in conversation this has done so much wonders it's mainly my effort right but is this planner so this is a three month productivity planner which means that you can track your goals review your progress every single month for that quarter now one of my favorite things about this planner is the fact that it has a habit tracker everybody say habit tracker habit tracker <laughs> so let's say for the month of april you want to commit to drinking eight cups of water every day or you want to read for 30 minutes every single day you can do that here and you can track that here every single day it provides you 10 slots for your commitments or your intended habits for that month so reviewing my habit tracker for the month of march i wanted to devote time to god and worship and read my lesson study i wanted to read for 30 minutes i'm really big on reading and i'm trying to finish at least one book every single month or a month and a half take regular breaks without my phone i find that i do every single thing with my phone and i need to break that habit it's really not healthy i shouldn't be so tied to my phone like that i wanted to eat a fruit or vegetable every single day i drink my greens but it's important to Why would she say that? write down three good things that happened during the day one this helps me practice gratitude and two i also journal so this can help to reflect on my day and just stay positive read an article in the new york times or watch tedx i want to be more informed i want to add to the conversation i never want to be that girl that's sitting at the table and just not at her head you know i want to know what's i want to know what's going on you should know what's going on don't buy outside food drink or anything like i said i traveled for the first two months of the year <laughs> i'm trying to budget i'm trying to save speak affirmations over myself and my family it's important to speak life into yourself and to speak life over those that you love get into that habit i wanted to maintain a clean temple so on my spiritual journey in my spiritual walk i've been convicted to maintain an atmosphere that's fitting enough for christ to dwell and it's one of those things where it just takes one time to stick and for me it's up and stuck i'll leave it at that you can also tie it to what you digest uh be it on tv music social media yada 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 and finally taking my vitamins so the habit tracker provides you 10 slots for our habits you have cells for every single month of the day so let's say it's the first month of april i go through every single day did i read for 30 minutes in the day yes did i take regular breaks without my phone yes did i eat fruit or vegetables yes did i write down three good things that happened no skip obviously it's intended for you to do every single day that's the only way you can track your goals now at the end of the month you'll tally and you'll come to a total of how well you did for each commitment and with that you can take your analysis and find what you need to work on it's 
genius. This is genius. We're in April now and I just feel so empowered. So after the habit tracker, we have the monthly calendar. I'm not really gonna dive into because every planner has a monthly calendar and it's pretty straightforward. But in this planner, we have a section for notes. On the left, we have our top priority items. So those six major tasks for the month. And on the other side, a section for highlights. Just maintaining a positive outlook, but you also have this to look forward to and reflect on after. After I filled in my monthly calendar, I get into the weekly planner. This is actually my second favorite part of this planner. I have a truckload of things in my head. I use the notes app in my phone on a daily basis, but this allows me to brain dump and list all of my tasks, all of my goals for the week, and then prioritize them on a daily basis as I plan my week out. So this first section um, allows me to list the five most important tasks of the week. If these were the only tasks that I completed during this week, I would be more than satisfied. I'll list them down. I then have my secondary tasks of importance which I would only do after I've completed the previous five most important tasks. Following that I have additional tasks which I would do after I completed the previous tasks so on and so forth and obviously using your brain that was mean <laughs> but using your brain you can recognize what is more time tasking and what's more of a priority. I would then use this sheet of tasks to plan my individual days. I would assign each task to a day. At the very bottom, I have the habit tracker, which serves as a reminder to tick your habits because time is precious, right? You can't get it back. So it's important to be conscious of how it's being spent. I can highlight my mood and rate my day. And then on the right hand, I would have my notes. So I would do the beginning on Sunday. Well, this planner starts from Monday, but if you know your Bible, you know Saturday is the seventh day. So it should really start from Sunday. Let's get back into it. Now at the end of the week, you would do your weekly review. You'll chart your weekly wins, what went well. You'll list your wins, big or little. Recommitting to completing them the following week. So I would use whatever was listed here to then be listed in my five most important tasks for the next week. With these last two questions, you can kind of remix whatever Float your boat. So this is what I did for the entire month of March. You don't have to start it at the top of the quarter. I started in March. Just commit and start. I'm really committed to just doing right by myself. So I'll make sure I have this book in my backpack and my bag. I'll bring this to work. Wherever I go, you will see me with this book, just ticking things off. And the satisfaction that I get knowing that if I come back to my weekly planning, everything has been checked and ticked off. It just makes me feel productive and it encourages me to keep going. I've had a week where I didn't get everything done, but that's real life. Just make sure that you commit the following week and you do your best. Do what you can do. Do your best. Just commit and start. I'm not going to gatekeep. If you are intrigued and you want this planner, it's in the description below. Run, sis. Don't walk. <laughs>